Right, um, I just want to do a quick video of the circuit I just finished. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but uh, I'll try and share it. Um, this is a little uh, square wave frequency generator I just finished. Um, started with a, a basic circuit using a 555 timer right there and a 393. A comparator, and then I stuck an opti coupler on it and biased that with a voltage divider. Um, gives me a, a lot cleaner output. Um, it's just a 7805 voltage regulator. Um, coming off of it, I set it up. It's got five different caps for frequency ranges um, on four switches. The smallest one, which is <coughs> Uh, 100 peak of I believe, um, is always on, and then they just build on each other. Um, three controls here, frequency range, um, duty cycle, ranges, um, I'd say I've got a pretty good 95% duty cycle range, and then this is, uh, amplitude on the output. And the faster the faster it's going, um, the less that is, that amplitude is. And it's just running off of whatever. I mean uh, five to eighteen volts pretty much will it'll run. I was gonna stick a bat a nine volt battery on it. I just haven't yet. Um, anyway, sort of bench is kinda messy here, but I got it hooked up to the an oscilloscope. So we'll see if this comes out or not. Um, it's right there. Uh, my my the max output that I'm I can get is about 200k or kilohertz, and that's at about 250 millivolts is the max amplitude there. Um, and then you know I slow it way down to less than a hertz, and I can have almost a full five volts coming out on it. Um, now I've got just a slight rounding on the uh, the leading edge there, but not bad. Here I'll adjust the frequency back and forth so you can see. Like, works pretty good there. Um, uh, mess with my, my trigger here. Turn that. There we go. Um, also, then my duty cycle, you can see I can take it all the way down to just about nothing there. And then all the way up, pretty much max it out right there. Run it back to about 50%. And an amplitude on it. See, I can increase that my amplitude up, down. Works pretty good. I'll go ahead and go to a uh, slower frequency here. Um, and right now I'm turning on. Uh, I've got the 100 peak farad on. Uh, the one nanofarad, and now I'm adding the 10 nanofarad. So they're running. They're all in parallel. So it's the sum, the sum of those, and. Come back in on this. I can see it a little better. I um, mean, some funky effect going there. That's kind of crazy. I don't know what that is. Whoa. Huh. Pretty nutty. Let's see if I can. Must be. <laughs> must just be at a frequency that's pretty close to uh, this camera's fr frame. Anyway. <laughs> that's nuts. Here I'll go up a little bit more. Maybe we can. Get, yeah, check that out. Pretty close to the scan rate on the, the O scope. Let me change it here. See if I can get rid of that. No. Interesting. Well, you can see what's happening there. We're capturing <laughs> capturing the uh, right at the at the frame rate. Or the scan speed and the frame rate of the camera. Anyways, that's not what I'm trying to show. 
I'm just trying to clean this picture up a little bit here. I think that's about what I'm going to get, though. Anyway, uh, so you can see, take this up. Very smaller. Duty cycle, more or less. And uh, frequency, more or less. Anyway, there you go.